Hello, my name is Virbom and welcome to my guide how to break through a machine line and how to deal with the fortifications. Forces used here are from my battle plan guide. For more information about my order of battle, templates and forces used here, you can watch my battle plan guide. We'll start by taking a closer look at the fort mechanics. By learning them, we'll be able to find the solution to our problem much easier. For each effective fort level in a province, attacker receives 15% penalty to soft and hard attack and breakthrough. Forts can be damaged during combat and through uh, strategic bombing. There is damage level um, indicator uh, located here. Each damage level reduces effective level by one. When attacking fort from more than one province, you reduce fort effective level by one for each province after the first one from which you attack. For example, attacking fort from five provinces will reduce fort effective level by four. In this case, I would be only facing effective fort level of 6 and get 90% penalty instead of 150. There are also fort attack modifiers that reduce the penalty when attacking into the forts. Divisions can have fort attack bonus from engineers, line artillery, heavy tanks and so on. In our case, divisions we will be leading today have 20% fort attack bonus from engineer support company with engineers to upgrade. There are also leader traits uh, that help with the fortifications, Engineer and Fortress Buster. Um, engineer is earned trait and Fortress Buster is general trait that can be unlocked if you have Engineer trait. Engineer provides plus 10% bonus against the forts and Fortress Buster provides plus 20 and also unlocks Siege Artillery. Army leader with both of those traits will provide plus 30% fort attack bonus, while army group leader with both will provide additional 15% fort attack bonus. If both army leader and army group leader own those two traits, divisions under their command will get 45% fort attack bonus. And last but not least, there is Siege Artillery Command ability that provides 20% fort attack bonus. To unlock it, as I mentioned, you need to own the Fortress Buster trait. Ability can be activated on both army group leader and army leader and if you will do so it stacks for a total of 40% fort attack bonus. If we will sum fort attack bonuses mentioned above, we'll get 20% from templates, 45% from leaders and another 40% from command abilities for a total of 105% bonus against forts. That means even attacking from one direction into undamaged machine line will only get 45% penalty from their fortifications. Okay, now we will quickly rearrange our current order of battle. Erwin Rommel will be temporarily relieved of the command and Panzer Army will be detached from Heinz Guderian and we will create separate army group under Gotthard Heinrichi with Ernst Eberhard Hell leading the Panzer Army himself. Germany starts with three generals with engineer trade, Erik von Manstein, Gotthard Heinrichi and, and, and Ernst Eberhard Hell. During the period leading up to war, we bought with the command power the Fortress Buster traits on both Gotthard and Ernst. Now we'll take a look at machine line and we'll briefly inspect it to evaluate where we would want to attack starting from the south. Mulhouse. It is hills, province, and we can only attack across one, uh, from one province across the river, very bad province to attack. Mountains from two provinces across the river, very bad. Uh, Strasbourg is pretty much the same, urban, urban uh, province, uh, or the city I should say. Again, from two provinces, very bad spot to attack. This is pretty tempting, we can attack from five directions into the hills. So it is tempting, but we will not use it and I will explain a little bit later why. Here we can only attack from one province into the hills, very bad spot. Uh, here plains, we can attack from two provinces and this will be where we will attack. Uh, and here we can attack across the river into the one uh, hilly, uh, from one province into the hills, very bad spot. So as I mentioned, 
Uh, despite being able to advance into the province north of Strasbourg here, from five provinces, will not attack here. Si reason is simple. Hills not only provide the extra penalty for us to attack, and withdrawing French forces from here, they will actually withdraw to into the mountains here. So basically, it will be pretty hard to exploit the breakthrough from here. And as such, it may not actually be that easy for us to properly exploit the breakthrough and surround the French forces located in here. Of course, we could uh, use and stick with this uh, province as our mm, point of attack and you establish more or less like beachhead attack here and then basically from this point grab this province and now you could for example attack from four provinces into the Strasbourg then also take this province now you and uh, from this moment you should be able to easily dis slowly dislodge all the French forces from here by getting the domino effect however we will get a little bit more risky move and we will actually attack here and later we'll try to basically cut off all the french forces located at the machine line and then basically race towards the victory points in france and so on okay um now let's plan this uh, we will start by assigning the Panzer army uh, here and we'll use the spearhead to the Nancy and after that you know, we'll probably just micro everything. I will put the uh, motorized infantry here with the order to flow here. My cavalry will not be used, I will just assign them to the border with the Luxembourg. Um, and now I will assign the first army here. And the fifth army as well. The two, second, third and fourth army, they are basically, they will remain here as reserves. So they will have basically nothing important to do. So we'll, they will basically, as mentioned, uh, acting as reserves. Okay, now we have prepared our plans. I will unpause our, our forces, start pouring in and start gathering uh, planning bonus. Okay. And everyone should be fully prepared. Okay, so we'll basically attack start now uh, we'll activate battle plan and the siege artillery on here and we'll take a look at the battle window as you can see we currently have 30% penalty uh, for attack penalty 150 from 10 fourth levels we subtract from this 105 from templates, siege artillery, and the leaders. And also, the fort is currently has one damage level, so basically, we only have 30% penalty right now. Now, what I will do is select those infantry divisions from the first army, and I will order the support attack here, which will not only lower the penalty by another 15%, basically we open another direction from which we advance into the province, but also we expand uh, combat with, and as we can see, we have already reinforced with the first division. So, because we have much better reinforced chance than the French here, uh, we should be giving us potential ability to concentrate more firepower on enemy units and we should break the enemy positions here pretty fast. Okay, we have 120 combat with against the French 82, so hopefully we will be able to properly... Okay, they have reinforced with one division, but that shouldn't help them very much, okay. I must say they are pretty lucky when it comes to the reinforcing so far, okay. I will move and I will start advancing here. Okay, now they are. We hopefully will 
quickly deal with those forces here. Okay, good. Now we will continue here with basically uh, trying to move whenever, whene whenever and wherever we can. Uh, okay, I also add one division here, and all you will have an order to basically hopefully those divisions will quickly okay good and now we can start moving up here and with you like to here now we'll slowly start moving Okay, now we can move, great. I will move one Panzer Division towards here. Okay, what we have forgot that my panzer divisions now will try to commit suicide because I have turned on them the aggressive execution of battle plans. So what I need to is actually start moving from this position. Okay. Okay, great. And now we can just continue with our merry way to continue across the French countryside. Okay, we'll try to move to the Orléans here then. We have a little bit of problems with the supplies, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, good. Okay, great. Now we are almost at the Dunkirk. You can go here. Okay, there's no point in wasting more men. Okay, now we are withdrawing here, nice. Soon the party should fall. And with that we have forced the French capitulation. 
with a total of 2,300 casualties. As you can see, the ending result is pretty, des pretty decent. We have defeated French with only, as I mentioned, 2,300 casualties by advancing and attacking through the marginal line. Remember, don't bash your head against the wall. Analyze the situation. Try to find weak spots in enemy fortifications and exploit them to your success. And that's it basically for this guide. If there is a particular topic you want to see covered in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, farewell.